A chicken disease almost ruined the livelihood of Irene Navachibi. She's a chicken farmer and two years ago her flock of 30 was nearly wiped out. Now she has over a hundred. It's because she was given simple advice on how to look after them. It has improved on my income. At least now, anytime I can sell off a chicken and get money. But before, it could even, I could just sell at the end of the year, maybe. Irene learned about chicken farming with the help of what's called a community knowledge worker. She visits him with a question about chicken illness. He was given this smartphone by a charity. They use it to access a database of farming information and to contact a call centre for further advice. Can I speak to the farmer? Yeah, you can. Here, in the capital Kampala, the charity's operators answer questions from farmers all over the country. You have to pass the, the sick chicken. 80% of people in Uganda are subsistence farmers and a lack of basic information can keep them trapped in poverty. Farmers need to move from subsistence farming to commercial farming in order to boost their incomes and to improve their livelihoods. Uganda depends on agriculture and we need to move from this level. So with the provision of um, information, we are bridging the information gap and we're helping people move from one level of farming to another level. But producing more food only helps if it's sold for a profit. And so the smartphones also collect and share up-to-date market prices. All of the produce in this market fetches different prices in different parts of the country. For example, these cabbages and these bananas are produced in this area. They actually fetch the highest price in the capital Kampala, about 30 kilometers from here. This maize, on the other hand, it's also produced nearby, but at the moment the best price for this is in eastern Uganda, near the border with Kenya, to where it's often exported. Without market information, farmers are vulnerable to being exploited by middlemen, but with the information from the smartphone, they're able to maximise their profit margins. Irene's invested the profit from her chickens in some goat. There's still challenges, like finding a way to make the smartphone service pay for itself in the long run. But now she's earning money all because of a simple application of technology. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Lugazi, Uganda.